hot minute since we did that. I'm trying to kill stuff. Yay! Hey guys, how you doing? All right, we got Sandy and Jerry. Hey, Arise loves her Costco streams. Get it? It's shopping. Excess in America. Oh. <laughs> Rob's playing video games real quick, and we're gonna go out there. I like food shopping in bulk. Oh yeah, sushi me. Eating it is even better. Yes, happy holidays, everyone. Hey, culinary or culi, what culinarily Disney? Oh, very interesting. That's cord. Um, hey, Lori. Oh, the slipper socks. Oh, how rude. Hey, Katarina. Hey, Nishida. Hey, hey, and a wild Rob. Hey, Melly Welly. What's up? We are at the Costco. Oh, you shop at Costco here too? I didn't know Costco was in the UK. And you told me that last time. I didn't know it was a thing. That's awesome. But yep, it's a really nasty day today. I'm like, oh. It, it's just one of those where it's raining just enough so it's annoying. Because look, wet weather is gross out. Ew. Ew. Yeah, it's not a beautiful day in Florida. It is a yucky, yucky, wet, wet, moist, yucky. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like cold and wet and rainy. I don't know. Not pretty. No sunshine at all, all day. It's terrible. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I don't feel like running around a park being all. But we needed to do some shopping today where Christmas is very, very soon. And we need to get some food. We need to do some things. And let's see what other Christmas stuff is here at uh, Costco. Here, I'm going to show them my OOTD. This is Rob's OOTD today. He's doing the, what is it, Avatar, The Last Airbender? It's Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'm wearing a very, very bright spirit jersey today. Because you know what? If there's no sun, I'm going to bring the sun, okay? Does it don't want to come out? I'm going to be obnoxiously yellow today. You can find me across the Costco. This way you don't lose me. Here. Oop. Oh yeah. Red and then a color. Very bright colors. Huh? Very bright colors. Yes, because there's no sun today. Apparently I have to bring my own sun. It's yeah, it's kind of cool. What's the temperature? 77? Sun, S-U-N. <laughs> yeah. See what I did there? I saw what you did there. Soleil. The sun. The moon. The stars. Yes, these are my, uh, the really loud and obnoxious Lulas too. <laughs> but it's all about being, oh, now everything's going to be wet that you're going to put in there. It what? went away? What, it went away? I dwell in darkness without you, but it went away. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, you got the card? Costco card? Oh, yeah. Is there a towel? Do you want me to wipe this down? Is there a towel? Great, we get to shop with wet stuff. Shop with the wet stuff. Oh, and then the food is over here. Our Costco has the food on the inside. I know some of the Costco's have it on the inside, but you don't have to be a Costco member to shop at Costco. Everything does close early though, so. How you guys doing? <laughs> Having a good hair day, everyone? <laughs> that is a rainbow of colors, yes I am. You need a big TV? There's a 75 inch for $14.99. Pins? Pins? No, hands. Okay, hand. What are you talking about? Oh, what is that? The tiny super fast charger. Oh, it's just a lightning charger. Okay, that's so weird. Apple cards. AirPods, yeah. Pen, ooh, more knives. Cuisinart. Cuisinart. What do we got on this thing? A ooh, Cuisinart? look at this little tiny uh, jump starter thing. That's cool. That's new, like little. They don't need nothing big no more. Look at that thing. That's kind of cool. Ooh, the T3. I have a T3. $47.99. Oh, they have the whole T3 line. Ooh, how much is the Carlin oh. iron? That's nice. That's a gorgeous iron. 45 bucks. That's a nice one, it's like a tourmaline ceramic. Oh, this is always a good brand. Kim Crawford, a very, very delicious Sauvignon Blanc. It's an excellent one. Pretty inexpensive, but very good. Ooh, they got jewelry today. There's jewelry? 
What? Nice, so blingy. And Klein watches. We're gonna have to go up and down each aisle. Ugh, this is my favorite section, the apple section. Buy it all, buy it all. Luggage, anybody need luggage? Ooh, they got purses and leather goods. This is new, they always have something new when we come in here. Ooh. Contigos, the, uh, oh, they got your little like thermo flask, but not thermo brand. For the Visco girls in your life. Heated massage wrap. Hair cutting. <laughs> Hello, Sergey from Russia. We are currently at our Costco wholesale. We are doing some shopping, showing you guys what oh, we have. It's not plugged in. Oh, you're like, it doesn't work. <laughs> Towels. Yeah, they got some new stuff. Ooh, is that a KitchenAid mixer? Yeah. Is that a what? KitchenAid mixer. All the copper stuff for like knee pain. Got some new stuff since we were here last time. We should just go down the first row and go down each row, honey. Can we just go down each row since it is a Costco stream? <laughs> Let's just start in the front and go down each aisle. That way we don't, like, miss anything. Hey, 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 Katie. M50 is only 600 bucks here. That's... Okay. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got, like, squirreled. I, got, I, got, I, saw, I saw cameras. You know me. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, that's the jewelry. We don't need to start there. We'll start here. This is fine. TVs, butter pretzels, European cookies. That's a good deal. $3.29 for a TV. 55 inch. That's a good price. That's not a bad price at all. Oh, Altamont. Yeah. This one's, yeah, it's a big box. But hey, $3.29. Grain free granola, but is how many carbs? Actually, it's not bad, honey. Look, 11 minus 7, 8? 4. Yeah. No, 11, 3. Sorry, three, oh. 7, right? What did I say? 11 minus 3 is 7? No, 8. Uh, 6 sugars, though. We were so close. But ain't bad. At least it's grain free. It's still 8. It's still, an, it's still not bad, but you're going to blow half your carbs for the day. 7. Yes, yes. Seven would have been good. The three it would be good. No, whole grain. Nope, that's lethal <laughs> for me. Uh, so hard, you know, but they're getting more and more. I mean, we'll start on this side. We'll, we'll go into the toiletries later. I'm not going, I'm going to see the... The what? Oh, okay. So we're going to go up and down the whole each aisle. Okay. To get the zip fist over here. This is like the whole toiletry, huggies. Um, baby wipes and all of that. I do use. I do need to get more baby wipes. It's all gone already. Like, cause I use it for my face to take my makeup off. Oh, they only have Lyman. The mix. Yeah, these are the zip fizzes that we talked about before. So. Oh, nice, Katie. I'm gonna grab some ibuprofen. Oh, okay. Yeah, ibuprofen and my bulk is good. But yeah, we're always. Who doesn't need more Advil, everyone? Let's see what kind of good, do they have good vitamins here? I've been using my Halo Beauty hair, skin, and nails. So I bought some of that Tati Beauty stuff. I mean, it's strong, cause I can tell like, you know, like when you take good vitamins, you feel nauseous when you take them. You're like, you gotta eat B12. A lot of B12, they got grapeseed and Reservatrol. If you wanna get the um, benefits of red wine without drinking red wine. Hey Echo, how are you? We're hanging out at the Costco today. It's like our favorite place to shop. Lots of keto stuff, but a lot of Christmas stuff too. Where did Rock go? Aspirin. Oh, did you find it? How big is the Costco bottle of ibuprofen? Oh, that's not a bad deal. 12 bucks? 10. 10 bucks? 10 for a thousand. Ooh, that works. Oh, these are soft gels. I'm like, why are these more expensive? No, but those are hard to take. I mean, unless you like soft gels, but like if you're taking them in your park bag, there's there's little brown ones are fine. I know you were using Aleve before, but Aleve doesn't do anything for me. Only only an ibuprofen works like if I have a headache or my aches. I've always been an ibuprofen girl. And what about Advil? That's just name brand ibuprofen. Yeah. You're just paying for the name. 
works the same. Tylenols for fevers, like because like from nursing, I just never use. We have Tylenol, so don't buy. Oh, yeah, that's the kind Heather has. Heather has the orange ones like that. Yeah, it's ibuprofen IB tablet. Oh, well, what's the difference? Yeah, that's the kind she has. She has the orange ones. This product does not contain gluten. Oh, it's gluten free. Maybe. I don't, I don't know that that's what the ID means, but. Does that have gluten? Because this product does not contain gluten. Gluten either. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Curl oil. Yeah. Curl oil. Oh, that's true, Sherry. I mean, I even as a kid, like dancing and doing color guard, I've always been an Advil girl for my. Um, I know. Does mom use curl oil? Let me see. Let me find out the price for you. Mom takes a lot of supplements. That's why she looks so good. She has like 22, was it 22 supplements a day? I mean, I'm all about the supplements. Oh, here it is. The curl oil was $18.99. $18.99 for the Kirkland curl oil. No fishy odor or aftertaste. Ooh, that's good. Wasn't, didn't they have the Orgain Keto? Ooh, what do they have over there? Mixed nuts, cashews. Okay, we're down to the next aisle. We're just gonna go down each aisle so you guys don't miss anything. Cashews, peanuts. I've been eating more peanuts lately and I know like at the gas station, there are still healthy snacks. You can get cheese and meat sticks. You love the, I know the Slim Jims, but there's, uh, I've found the, the beef jerky. Ooh, watch out. The, um, what was it called? Tillamook? Tillamook, the Tillamook Keto. Um, it's like a sugar-free beef jerky. It's really good. Robert Irvine, this is like the wannabe, uh, what's his name? Who's that? The, he's like the wannabe, um, Restaurant Impossible guy. Wow, that's so, so much. The carbs alone are ridiculous. Peanuts are legumes. They're not actually a nut. You guys know that, right? It's a nut. Tree nuts are different. That's why it's a peanut. Tree nut allergy is completely different. 14. Yeah, peanuts have... Oh, cashews. Your best nuts on keto is actually... Mm, I love this trail mix. It's not keto, but... If you're a Costco kid and you've been going to Costco your whole life, you know about this trail mix. Like every party like my aunt had it in her house we had it in my house growing up that that trail mix i've been eating that since i don't know the 90s <laughs> it's so good all right back to the camera section yay did we get a canon rebel t7 the only thing with a t7 i don't like it doesn't have a flip out screen so that would be hard for you to vlog in that's why it's always on sale but the m50 is a pretty popular bundle for $600. It is cheaper than the Canon G7X Mark III, which is the little camera that I have, the new one. It is a lot of vloggers favorite to use is the M50. A lot of people use the M50 and this is, it records in 4K, comes with a bag, the, the 15 45 millimeter lens, the 32 gigabyte SD card, and it's a touch screen. I always like the Canon interface and it has the flip out screen. For 600 bucks, this is a great deal. It's $200 cheaper than the Mark III. I know it's crazy, but I just like the interface. It's got a hot shoe for some lights. Um, it's just easy to use to me. Canon's are just really easy to use. But for $600 as a starter camera, or like a, even good, you could use that at home. It has the flip out screen. You can vlog with that. A lot of people use, um, a lot of people use the M50. This is a very popular vlogging camera. And they have a, it's a, it's a kit. It's a whole kit. Now, I don't know, it comes with a backpack? Oh, wow. How much is that? Is that the backpack kit? Does it come with a backpack? It's empty, you just gotta take it up there with you and it'll give you the stuff from the back. It does come with a backpack. That's really good. $600, comes with a sling backpack. It's the inspiration kit. Yeah. If I needed another, I mean, I another camera, but. The M50 would, and it's still pretty small, but it is like, it's a good 
starter like DSLR, very small. It's all about being small. Because the bigger the camera, I ain't gonna carry, it's gonna hurt your neck. I'm just me, I'm all for size and power. <laughs> hey Dieter, how you doing? Hey Samara. But that's a great price, $600 for all of that. That's a steal. There's Nikons also. Since $1,000 is for the D7500. It's heavy. Nah, that's just too big. That's just going to cause me pain. <laughs> you know, portable charging kit. <laughs> well, that's a good deal. Yeah, you need a Seiko? Some diamond cut earrings. Some watches. It's a hidden Mickey. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hi, Disney Mitch. I know, I have a backpack problem. Like, I collect backpacks, not purses. Oops, sorry. That is a good deal, isn't it? That's pretty. Wireless charging stand for mobile phones. It uses with Samsung and a whole lot of other ones. It does do iPhone too. For $24.99, that's a deal. It's a good price. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of backpacks. I know problems. I have so many backpacks that I use. I get, I do love backpacks. I have backpacks for travel, backpacks for specific purposes. Okay, I think Rob went down the next aisle. I collect backpacks like I do purses, honestly. There you go. This is like the best section is the Apple section. I love my new iPad. I added a gen, oh, that's a first gen though. That's a first gen Apple Pencil. I need a gen two. What are the watches? Because mama needs a new one Apple Watch. I added that to my Christmas list for my family. Oh no, they're out of stock. But it's a good price for a Series 5. You're not going to find it cheaper than Costco. Yeah, I like the 44 millimeter. I've always liked the bigger face than the smaller one. It's easier to read. I want to get a Gen 5 and test out the EKG app. Oh, look, it's just so much better. I mean, I have the original. I have a Series 0. This is the original Apple Watch. This is how old it is. It doesn't update anymore because it's old. But that's a really great price that's cheaper than best buy and i would have told you that hey mallory oh the best deals with ipads are um best buy best buy has a great deal on ipads they have a 32 gig newest version for 249 and then it had the 128 for 329 so uh, best buy has the best deals i did a ton of research on that um Oh, they have the Ninja Foodie. We'll go down the aisle. Okay, I'm getting distracted. We're, get, we're going to go down the aisle. We went down this aisle already. Okay. Nuts, nuts, pumpkin seeds. And I'll start on the next side here. Oh, I love Dry roasted is good. I know peanuts aren't the best nuts to eat, but like at the gas station, it's not bad. Three carbs. I've been on a peanut kick lately. They have barbecue peanuts at the gas station at the Speedway over at Disney. I love it so much. Almonds are really great. They're good on keto. Um, Costco's just a good place for the nuts. Unsalted. Oh, no. I wanted salted nuts. Vegan. No nuts. No dairy. No so it's cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, pecans, macadamia. It's not bad, actually. Six is three. Three carbs. That's not bad at all. They're good to eat. Hi, how are you? Okay, I will try a mini granola. They are gluten-free, organic. Uh, perfect. Two flavors. Mixed berry and chocolate chip. Mm. Safe. There's no peanuts, no tree nuts. They're not even made in a facility that are made with that have nuts. That's awesome. Yes, I think so too. Especially with all the allergies with the kids lately. Oh, they're delicious. Thank yes, you. They are. Thank you. Yum. Yep, iPad specifically is an Apple product. Otherwise, it's just a tablet. Yes, if you're buying an iPad, it's an Apple. Uh huh. Especially if you have an iPhone, 
already because then they'll talk to each other make sure you enable your cloud so everything on your phone will you'll be able to pick it up right on your um, iPad it's really nice yep they have it Best Buy has the best deal well, on iPads this year I researched everywhere Sandy so if you're looking for a new iPad put it on your family list be like this is on my Christmas list um, you can get an iPad the newest version cheapest one I could find 32 I mean, the memory isn't a lot. It's like 32 gigs, and it's um, 249. I mean, get more memory if you can, or just get iCloud memory. It's just easier. So, yeah. Five carbs, but four sugar. Darn. Is there sugar? Yeah, there's brown sugar. The steak strips look really good. They're gluten-free. Oh, because they're fat free now they want the fat that's the problem with beef jerky man grass-fed beef eight seven sugar how hard is it roasted chestnuts on an open fire pumpkin seeds spice rack 30 bucks that's not a bad deal. Good present. Oh, kitchen scale. It's always a necessity if you're trying to, like, train. If you're training, doing macros, really watching what you eat. A kitchen scale is great. I bought mine from Amazon. I have a little red one. A lot of good presents. $14.99. That's a good set. Um, towels, too. I think all of our towels come from Costco. hand mixer. I just have a hand mixer. I don't have a KitchenAid baking sheets. But they have the KitchenAid mixer here for $249, six quart mixer. That's a really good deal. Instant pot. I know they were like the thing. $64.99 here. $25 off. Instant savings. So that's a good price, $64.99. I saw the Ninja Foodie. Yeah, they do all the phones and phone plans in here. It's great. More jewelry. They have Samsung watches too, if you're a Samsung user. Um, they do, yeah, AT&T, iPhone, T-Mobile, and Sprint here. They have that, Rob has, an, I know he has the Samsung phone. Back up in a hub. Eight terabyte. Ooh, what a deal. It's not a travel one. It's probably for your home. 129 for eight terabytes. That's really good. I have a travel. I have a external hard drive that I use for my MacBook. I mean, or you could store everything on your device. So. I wonder if there's a way to do that, like, because if you just bought, like, a, you know, 32 gig iPad, most of, that's why I just have the cloud, I do the two terabytes a month, it's $9.99 on the cloud, because what it'll do, it automatically would just give you, like, an image, because you don't have a lot of memory if you do a 32 gigabyte um, iPad, but just, it'll store it on the cloud. Hey, Cindy and Kurt, how you doing? Oh, you did get it, girl. I saw that. It looks awesome, Sherry. You got the Geek Squad. It looks nice. You need it for work, so I'm so super happy for you, girl. The spice rack was $29.99, Belinda. It's a deal. $29.99. Google Assistant. This isn't a bad price, so if you want, you're looking for a, a external hard drive, like for your photos, your videos, um, that's pretty travel friendly. It looks pretty small. That one's two terabytes for $69.99. It, lo it even looks like all like fabric or something, canvas. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's small enough. I think mine is a WB. I forget the brand. I bought it at Best Buy. Um, but I have a two terabyte external hard drive that I put like photos and videos in. Like if I'm editing it, I just put most everything into this hard drive. And I back up my laptop into the hard drive too. Okay, they got computers. This is a Dell 
XPS desktop computer with 4 gigabyte graphics card, $150 off. Looks pretty fancy. They get an HP all-in-one PC. Oh, that's a good price, $479. Very cute for a desktop. I don't know if it's good or not. We have to read reviews, but $479 for that. This one's expansive. Oh, it's a gaming thing. My $1,300 hairs. I know gaming, gaming desktops can be expensive. The Omen Obelisk Sleek Powerful Game Harder. This one's a thousand dollars. Ooh, you smell. It is for Seagate. Yeah, Seagate is a good brand. But sixty nine ninety nine. They got an eight terabyte one for your home. That one's a good one for for the house. And that's good, but. I'm not much of a PC gamer, so I don't know if these are good brands or not. You all have to tell me. Uh, Dell Inspiron, $6.99. I always do my research before I buy any electronics, just because you never know, you know? Better Wi-Fi system. What does it do? Router. Oh, it's just a new router. Home Wi-Fi system. It maximizes the internet speeds available in your home. Yeah, ours is starting to slow down. I don't know if it's just because we got Disney Plus. I know Megan was saying the same thing that that happened to her too. So I don't know. We may just, we've had our modem and we bought a brand new modem and router like three years ago. So I don't know if it's time for another one. Hmm. But we'll have to, we'll have to do some tests and maybe we need another router. Like it's slowing down like it never used to do that like if rob is gaming and i'm on the tv and he's hardwired him and the his playstation and the tv is hardwired into the house but it does it's slowed down quite a bit and we we have fast wi-fi so there's something going on there like you don't want to make sure you're paying for all of that and then it's not working oh look there's us hey <laughs> so it could just be like a janky router or you know i'll have to run speed tests and all of that and figure it out security systems 11 piece for 139 dollars 11 piece wireless security alarm kit oh the ring the video doorbell 249 here Yeah, it's, it's three years old. It's probably a really, really... Hey, long time no see. I know I haven't seen you in a hot minute, but we're on day 11 of Streamus. We'll see what else Costco has, because I know y'all are still doing some Christmas shopping, trying to finish it up, and maybe I can help you guys get some more ideas and hit up your local Costco, Walmart, or uh, Sam's Club, or whatever's close to your town. TVs, a lot of TVs. <laughs> printers they got everything at costco y'all everything that's not a bad price 70 dollars i have a canon printer as well because it's an air printer so the printer i have i got from walmart or best buy i like the canon air printers because i can print right from my phone like certain ones were only compatible like iphones are weird so i was able to get my canon one i think i, I think i got it at walmart or best buy a couple years ago works great I've always been partial to Canon. <laughs> and they got printer ink too. So maybe, I mean, printer ink is just ridiculous expensive. 60 bucks, 63 dollars, 90 bucks. But if you can save a few dollars, it's still a few dollars less. Copy paper, you know, like they have so many different things. Office supplies, oh, I could be here all day. I love me office supplies. Appliances, anybody need a new washer and dryer? Refrigerator? Mm, more charging pads, sharpies, charge protectors. I think I need one of these though. They get old, you gotta replace them after a few years. Oh, here's another wireless charging one. Oh, this one does iPhone and Apple Watch. You can put your watch on the side. That one is $60. 
Yeah, you should be able to print from an iPad um, if you have an air printer. Your air printer has to be, you like, turn on the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi on your iPad. You should be able to. It's just pretty much like an iPhone. Um, but your printer has to be an air printer. So look for, um, if it's Canon or HP, whatever the utility is, like you can go and open. If you try to print something, it'll it'll be looking for printer. So make sure your printer is like an air printer. It's called an air printer where it can print from your phone. It's not just Apple. They could do it from any phone, but just the iPad should be able to do it. But it's up to your printer. Your printer should has to be like an air printer. I love the black mat. Oh, we have uh, black stainless. This one's a mat. Our fridge is a black stainless. We have the Samsung. Yeah, we have the Samsung, uh, but not with the door open. It's just solid. I got places to put my magnets on, but um, doesn't have the screen. But we have the black stainless. Yeah, this is the color that we have. Yep, but we bought it at Best Buy. <laughs> but I do like it. Yep, ours has the middle drawer too. And ours has like the remotes right here, like the controls. And then, yep. This is where I put all my Rebel ice cream. I'm just saying. And cauliflower rice. But yes, you should be able to print from an iPad as long as you have an air printer. Ooh, Cuisinart. What's this? Air fryer toaster oven. I have a toaster oven already. It's cute though. It's an air fryer. How does it work? Hmm. Yes, exactly. And you got to replace. Yeah, it would make a good gift, Sherry, for sure. The ring was two sixty nine. Correct. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Have a good lunch. Yeah. No, you don't need the cell phone. You should be able to print from your iPad as long as you have an ear printer the printer that you're trying to find it your as long as your printer is wi-fi available make sure you turn on the wi-fi on your ipad and then let's say you're trying to print a page and it'll tell you searching for printer but as long as the printer itself can find the signal you should be able to it's uh, as i was trying to say it's kind of like an iphone an ipad is very similar to an iphone it's almost exactly the same um yeah you should be able to print from an ipad no problem as long as your printer is air capable that's the word i was trying to look for it got gift cards for sale for like, popular restaurants now oh, these are cute mason jar cookie jars are they airtight though see i want to put these are cute i need a storage container that's airtight for my carb quick mama needs her mickey pancakes mickey waffles this is like a jar, cause that's pretty big. Like, I'm just gonna put my carb quick in it. Or I was just gonna go get like a, yeah, one of those containers. But this is the one I was looking at. Does anybody have a Ninja Foodie? This is a good price. Look, it's 150. I thought it was over 200 dollars. Oh yeah, the Instant Pot is here too, girl. Look, they have it. It's 64.99 right now. Here at Costco for the Instant Pot. $25 off for a six quart. Woo! -hoo. Hey, David. How are ya? I'm very bright. I'm bringing the Disney sunshine at Costco today because it's nasty outside. So I figure let's do something indoors because it's gross and rainy today. I know it crisps a chicken and pizza and vegetables. I know they're pretty much similar. Does it get crispy on the Instant Pot too, guys? Or is it just primarily more like a, a, a pressure cooker? She has a Ninja? Oh, cool. Because I I'm more, was more interested because I know it's kind of like an Instant Pot, but it does the tender crisp. Like, it makes crispy chicken. I'm down for making my own rotisserie chicken. So delicious. I remember my mom having a pressure cooker, like the old ones that have the little blue, blue, blue thing on the top. And it was like scary because it could explode. And she would t always tell me, don't get near that because don't touch it. Don't loosen the lid. It'll like explode on you. I'm like, oh, I'm not into 
old school pressure cookers always scared scared me. Oh no, David, I'm sorry. She has a juicer. Oh, the ninja juicer. We'll go down that aisle too. I have a ninja blender, but it's such a big piece of equipment. But hey, if it works, it's a family sized one. But I actually need to stay home and cook more. <laughs> but this would be good to cook like Filipino dishes. Because I do crock pot a lot, but then you can't eat it till tomorrow. So it's just like it takes forever. And I know this is so much faster. Ooh, four rivers. Yes, please. So it's a hundred dollar, four twenty-five dollar gift cards for eighty bucks. That's a good deal. Best barbecue in all of Orlando. Four rivers, without a doubt. Without a doubt. There's two right by Disney. So if you are coming, there's one right at the, um, not the point, it's on Osceola Parkway. So there's one on the other side of Osceola Parkway, like past the Gaylord on the way to Disney. There's a Four Rivers. There's two of them that are close to Disney that you could go to. So delicious. Also at uh, ESPN Wild World of Sports at the stadium part of it, they have a little Four Rivers kiosk now on property. But I don't know if it's open all the time, only when there's events going in there. We'll have to check it out and go eat there and I'll tell you if it's really comparable or not. Um, and of course they have the Four Rivers food truck at Disney Springs. You know, John Rivers is really good friend, friends with Chef Art Smith. He's this super nice guy. Um, and But they're just like, like Chick-fil-A, they're not open on Sundays super good super super good yeah that one's a huge one i'm like i don't know have counter space to fit that thing baskets i do need some of these for 20 bucks is not a bad deal we have all of our pork rinds and stuff so i need like this is good because it is it two layers yeah it's two layers i need some baskets to just stack oh it's right here okay i'm like don't they have a sample to put all of our, like, we have like this one corner of the kitchen counter starting to look so messy, but it's where we put all the open bags of like, you know, your wisps and your snacks and stuff. This is definitely a lot more organized. 20 bucks, that's a deal. Does it come in red? The OXO containers have always been my favorite because they're like, um, yeah, you just pop it, but they're still pricey, 80 bucks. But I know they're good. That's this. A buffet caddy. Yeah, I just need a big, I need a big canister to put my carb quick in that's airtight. I just need to buy one of these things to put the carb quick in. Oop. For my Mickey waffles at home. And that Mickey waffle maker, by the way, is the best thing since sliced bread. But this is a good way to save money too, guys. Like, if you like to eat out, they always have gift cards to popular restaurants at Costco, P.F. Chains, Carrabba's, Fleming's, Buca de Beppo's, Terra Mia, Four Rivers, Shula's, Brio, I know Brio is everywhere, too. Turkish cuisine. And more rubber made stuff. Okay. Oh, here's your, uh, yeah, this is $29.99. Not a bad price for a spice rack with the spices in it. 20 jar revolving, revolving stainless steel spice rack for twenty but for $29.99. It's the Kamenstein brand. I thought they were more than, like, those are expensive. I know, like, I've seen them at, like, Bed Bath & Beyond. Clothes for dudes. Oh, Rob's getting samples. He's gone off. He's probably over there at the food. He wasn't following my lead of going up and down each aisle. <laughs> we'll find him. Uh, underwear, comfy blanket sweatshirt. Okay, it looks comfortable. So we're not, we've moved on to these instead of the snaggy. Socks, fresh flowers. I swear we didn't go down this aisle. Oh, we missed one. Oh, because it's the snack aisle. Mmm. Zebra popcorn. Stroop waffles. Oh, this is not a good aisle to be in. Don't look at anything. Don't, don't look at anything. Ooh, my favorite beef pork jerky. It's not keto because it's got 10 grams of sugar. 
the, the Golden Island um, Korean barbecue pork jerky. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Oh yeah, we did. We did go down this aisle. There's the steak strips. We're not looking at anything. Don't look at anything. I'm not going to look at anything. You don't look at anything. All right, we'll go across and then come back down. So we'll try to be strategic. Mmm, green. Paleo bars. Sea salt chips. Aussie bites. Mm, it's all chips. We can't eat anything on this aisle. Ooh, pepper jack crisps. Oh, they're spicy. So it's five. Seven minus two is five. There are grains in it, that's why. Okay, but they are gluten-free grains. Mm, so it's like a cracker idea. It's got five, five carbs for one serving. It's ten, seven pieces is one serving. So if you're looking for a cracker alternative and it's a little spicy i love pepper jack so yum it's not bad wisps are all cheese i'll have to try those those aren't a bad oh yeah these are good too the humanely raised um paleo certified they have pork rinds these are really delicious they're chili and salt yeah they're really good we've had the costco brand zero carbs it's better, it's pork deliciousness, something I would totally say. Yes, yes, making you hungry. But it's come from a good piggy, so that's like, it's better. Pork raised on a farm, stress-free environment, produced natural behavior, with, produces natural behavior and socialization, because people are also very concerned about where it's coming from, so. We've had this brand and it's six seventy nine. <laughs> That's true, David. You're right. How about the pepper jack? Um, for a big bag like that, they're good. We've had them here too. Rob's been getting them from the gas station because they're salt and pepper. The Max Max brand. Um, that's what we've been getting. It's really good. It's got um salt and industrial sea folds for if you have a business or an office. They got plenty of these more industrial dinner napkins and things cutlery all your party supplies your whisk your crisp whisk oh yes well we'll have to try those but i'm oh we got coach it's a coach bag it's a turn lock tote for 139 that's not a bad deal if you're into coach you gotta find a shirt oh nice oh, mallory okay no, uh, i hit a dead spot there sorry i hit a dead spot <laughs> over by the snack section they have a rebecca wisps they're called wisps yeah publix has them but I think they're expensive because they're at at, um, at Publix. It's five bucks for a tiny, tiny bag. Like it's expensive. We get some shoes, some filas. Oh, here's the slipper socks. Ten dollars for two pairs of the slipper socks. Super cozy. Look how cute. Like hanging around the house. But they have a Rebecca Minkoff purse and a Coach purse. They're both $139 and a $119. That's a good deal. If you're into the brand's underwears. Oh, here they are. Oh, they got more Under Armors in. This is the one I buy, the 32 degree. Because they're $11.99 for two of them. They got more mediums, that's good. And they have the pants too. So they're great. And they come in white as well as uh, gray, if you don't want black. Gray 
looks kind of cute. I would just get black because I can wear it for work too. Are they $11.99 for two? What do they have for kids? Set. fit into a kid's one, probably. Do they have a different sizes? And they're all mediums. Does that gonna fit into a 16, 18? extra large I can fit into it. It's a 16 I can fit into a 14 kids, but 16, 18 kids I can for sure wear. It's only white. That one is oh what did oh it's 699. Do they not have it? That's not bad. That's really cheap. And that's a good price if you can fit into a kid size. Do it. Hey John, how you doing? Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Make sure you follow all your instructions. Elevate, ice, whatever you need to do, do it. Oh, they have tickets to events here too. Ooh, Orlando Magic tickets. Andretti. We went there once, I guess. I don't know if you guys remember last year when they first opened. We went there. We went to Andretti's. Movie tickets. Two tickets for $18.99. Build a bear. Oh, an AMC. Yep. Four movie tickets. How much is it for four? $35.99 for four movie tickets. Or if you go to movies a lot, I would do the A list $20 a month. A foot massage therapy. Kids clothes. Ooh, fun. <gasps> Is that an Elsa outfit? What? What? That's adorable. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Hang on. Let me see what it looks like on the inside. Is it like a dress? Hang on. Don't they usually have a sample? Oh, it's a skirt. Okay, it's a skirt. A long sleeve t a uh, long sleeve t shirt and the jean jacket. It's cute though. And that is how much? It's a the Disney Tutu Couture collection. Uh, oh, twenty bucks for a three piece set. Yeah, well, I was I wasn't scheduled uh, last night. Yeah, the yeah the Tuesdays the five dollar Tuesdays. Yeah, that's awesome, David. They got a Minnie Mouse one. These are so cute for $20. That's a good deal. Oh, there you go. Make magic every day. Hey, that's what we do here. That's what we aim to do here for you guys. Make magic every day. Make magic every day. That's adorable for $20. That is a steal. So cute. And they have all different kinds. It's all Disney. So they have Mickey, they have um, Elsa, Frozen one. They have the Minnie Mouse one. I'm trying to see what the t-shirt looks like. They have them jammed in here, I can't even see. Love Always Minnie, okay. And this one with a puffy jacket is Mrs. Potts. Be your own kind of beautiful. And it's a red rose, very Beauty and the Beast. That's cute too, and I think the denim is cuter, but hey, if you got somebody who likes Beauty and the Beast, and the inside is very cute. Mm, look at these beautiful dresses. Christmas dresses, John and Michelle holiday dresses, $20. Oh my gosh, what a good deal. 
And then there's this last one down here. Is a puffy jacket one. Oh, the denim jacket? No, I haven't sewed it. I need to do it. <laughs> I really do before the season is over. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll go do the middle. We'll do the middle. We'll go like this. And then we'll save that side for on the way out. Because that way I don't miss any aisles. This is all the men's section. Calvin Klein. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to straight. I just hope. I just go find like where are all the pajamas at. Do you still have monkey monkey pajamas? Gear foams. Boots. Oh, oh that's the Skechers that I got. They still have them. The black Skechers are $24.99. They're very comfortable. They're great. I just got a pair of these black ones. So they're great. They're good park shoes. Five bucks off. And they have tan also. I like shoes that don't have real laces like these. Just like these, you just slip them on your foot. <laughs> these are comfortable. These are cute little snow boots. Me too, girl, it's dangerous. Hot glue, I might just hot glue it, you're right. Well, they're like iron-on kinda, but I think they're gonna pop off. So I will just have to hot glue them up. Ooh, Adidas, these are men's though. Men's Adidas. Wow, $24.99 for Adidas. Y'all, cheap. Fanny pack. <laughs> it's making a comeback. Where's the Florida State? What is going on? I don't know about all that. Really? Hmm. What are they, anti Seminoles here? A lot of sweatpants. No, maybe it just sold out. All right, we'll go to the girl section over here. Ooh, fluffy. It's a Sherpa hoodie, 20 bucks. That's such a good deal. Ooh, it's so fluffy. Oh, they're soft. Oh my. That's right, Miss Natalie. We'll be seeing her shortly. Very soon. Are we out of the pajamas already? Mm. I'm trying to find I think they got rid of my Christmas pajamas. Are they out of monkey monkey pajamas? Oh. Here we go. Oh, they're $12.97. Got little owl. These are the best pajamas you'll ever buy. The Monkey Monkeys. They're so good. Yeah, I bought the Polar Bears. The only thing they have left are these white ones. I mean, they're pajamas. How bad can I mess it up, right? Bad. But these are the best pajamas you'll ever buy. Classic flannel. So soft. And then the bottoms... $12.97, they're so soft. Um, the bottoms have a clip up, oh, you can see it. But you can clip the bottoms, so if it's too long, they like snap, there's snaps on the bottom so you can snap them up. They're the most comfortable pajamas you will ever, ever use in your life. Hey Mandy. Hey, hey, hey Cheryl, hanging tough. I know. Well, you guys have snow. We have ugly rain and chill today. I was like, oh, I don't want to feel like running around in that weather. But I got this last time with you guys in your hair, but they're so soft. I know. I really want to get another pair. I just don't, I'm not in love with the print, but they're the only pajamas I wear. I, I literally like, I have other pajamas, but they're not as soft as these. I mean, they just get softer with time, too. Yeah, I really am not in love with this print. But I bought the I bought the green one last time. I have the gray one from last year. I mean, another gray pair wouldn't hurt. These are so cute. They are honestly a great great present for people. These are the best. The monkey monkeys, the best.
Yeah, I have the gray ones with the coffee coffee cups on it from last year. Mm. The four letter word, yeah, we're not mentioning any of that. Oh, wow, look at how fuzzy and cozy this one is. Oh, it's like that fuzzy spirit jersey that they have. Oh, wow. See, I'm glad we're getting more into comfort. That's so comfortable. Ooh, 20 bucks, that's a deal. Jeans. Okay, we'll start at the Christmas tree and I'll work our way down. It's so soft and squishy. Mmm. They have such cute kids' clothes. Hoodie and legging set. Oh, sassy. Unicorns. I know, I've seen the 2020 merch, it's so cute. Oh wow, it's a Christmas tree bag. Tree storage duffel. That's a really big duffel bag for a tree. Armaments. Look at this beautiful wreath for $30, such a good deal. 30 inch decorated red and gold wreath for $29.99. They've got garland, it's got light on it already. Ooh, robes. Hang on. Big giant tree. A fashion wrap. Mm. For all my cold weather people, this looks just so cute. Awesome, Mallory. We'll see you in a little bit. Wow, these are soft. Pink and white, $14.99, good price for a robe. Soft and squishy. Oh, wrapping paper. We we have like, we, we just have wrapping paper. We have a whole like, you know, everybody does, like a storage box for um, wrapping paper and all of that. Like, they're really good because they're thick. They're not like, you buy rolls at the store and they're not a lot of paper. These are heavy. You get a lot of paper. Oh, the gaming chairs are still here. 160 for gaming chairs, and they come all in different colors. 159, the DPS gaming chair. But the wrapping paper is 45 square feet for 11.99. A big box of bows for 8.79. Oh, the crackers. They got a real life laser tag game for 50 bucks that's pretty fun oh that's awesome david yeah she'll like my new fire stick 4k thing that i got is alexa built in it's great <laughs> Ooh, fancy tight fancy tissue paper 7.49 oh those are nice yeah it's a good place to buy like bows and gift wrapping supplies and i still have some from years past because i've not gone through them all and then the tags these are my favorite tags here they make the best gift tags every year there's always the disney one in there these are what we always use are the are the gift tags but they have they make the prettiest gift tags here at costco and these are 11.49 but honestly i have like some from each year so far tons of it but so pretty look how pretty they are oh no that's the four letter word we're not supposed to mention that a lot of good toys watercolor set good good uh, squishmallows we saw them last time they're adorable are they trying to be like lol surprises I think so a bling blinger <laughs> cute books yeah they did have a lot of disney books here last time my little pony hatchimals so many toys Ooh, elsa and anna frozen too cute 
Oh, that's awesome, David. You gotta love Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Oh, that's awesome, Wendy. Yeah, there are a lot of good deals everywhere. Ooh, Game of Thrones, a pop-up guide to Westeros. No way. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Christmas, a lot of pop-up books. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, that's right, Scott. Oh my god. The wall. That is so cool. Oh no. White Walkers. Essos. That's a pretty cool, cool thing. Their books. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, reading the books are way better. I would like an illustrated one because then I would have the pictures of what you're... Oh, there you go. Look. It's the Weasley's Kitchen. So cool. Biology. Physics. Volcano. Where's Lance? Volcanoes. Biology would be good. Oh, look. If I was a cell, what part, if you could pick what part of the cell you would be, what part of the cell would you be? I know it's a silly question, but one of my friend's questions when she was applying to medical school was that for if you were a cell if if you were part of a cell what part of the cell would you be you know what my answer was i would be the mitochondria because why i want to be the powerhouse of the cell yes ma'am that's what my answer would be chemistry and physics good question though <laughs> I loved books as a kid, like presents, books as presents, like I love books. I was an avid reader. The Joy of Cooking, that's a classic one. American Girl Dolls, I know they're popular. Oh, it's a whole, oh, there's the giant mini for $20. This mini, am I throwing you up there unceremoniously? I mean, seriously. Look at the size of this mini. I'm gonna sit her up here. Come on, girl. Come on. Get it. Oh no. Oh, she's falling. Poor Minnie. They got a baby buggy and everything. $20 for that Minnie. That's a good deal. Alright, more, more books. The books are always great. Five minute princess books. Oh, Frozen 2 Busy Books. Oh, uh, there's the water horse. The water knot. Hi, Bruni. You know I love you, right? Hi. <laughs> oh, and it come with the characters. And there's General Matthias. So cool. Piggy. Wink. Kindergarten, so many cute things in here. Ooh. Oh, it's like paper dolls. That's cool. Oh, yeah, they're on it and also paper dolls. These are cool. I'm glad they still make them for kids. And look, they've got different kinds for different Toy Story 4, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Fancy Nancy. Cute. A lot of Disney things at Costco, so always a good idea too, you know. And I know a lot of things that a really good a really good piece of advice for parents: buy your souvenirs before you get to the park if they're still little, you know, that they can do that, and then you give it to them at the park at different times. But that's definitely one way to um, to save money on buying gifts is buy your gifts ahead of time, have them in your bag, or get them ready, and then give them to your kids at the parks. So you're saving money and they get a souvenir and, you know, when they're that age that they're still, you know, like, 
not savvy to your shenanigans, but that's, I know, a good piece of advice that a lot of people say to do for your kids is buy them souvenirs ahead of time. This is really cool. Sticker books. Love stickers. Cat and, oh, Dr. Seuss books. Wacky Wednesday. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. Wow, dinosaurs. I mean, you can find something here for your kids, grandkids, nephews, whatever you need. Like, and it's educational. I mean, books are fun. Eight piece book set. And what does it do? Does it like, oh. Oh, cool. It talks. Oh, that's awesome. Babysitter's Club. Oh, yeah. Me too, Carrie. And you know, the more you read, I think it helps. Oh, Lisa Frank. Oh, all the po old people in the house will remember Lisa Frank. Lisa Frank was big when we were little. <laughs> This is awesome. It was always a little. It's bright. It's bright. Oh, I got Elsa and Anna. Trust your journey. Love it. Oh, it's all frozen too. That's cute. I love like activity books. Used to always love this kind of stuff when I was a kid. Puzzles. Word search. Animals. The biggest book of amazing animals. How things work. That's kind of important. Alright. Did we miss an aisle? We did. We did the middle because we finished the middle. Did we not finish the middle? Yeah. Alright. I think I'm going to pick up where I left off here. Where do we go? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Are these dog toys? Oh my gosh. You guys. What a good deal. Look, oh, so cute. That is adorable. Six pack. Yeah, right? Oh, my comforter's gone. They were sold out last time we were here. Yep. It's a life, not life proof, life comfort, life comfort. It's called life comfort. Yeah, it's on the website though. It's on the website. Yeah, they were sold out last time we were here, Sandy. We were here like a month ago maybe I filmed. The last Costco stream we were here. Maybe for the dog. Yeah, no, they've been out. As soon as they come out, you buy them, you know? Yeah, Tanya already bought hers, like, whenever we started Christmas shopping, September, October. Like, you got to buy them as soon as they come out or else they're gone. But they do have them on the website still, on the Costco.com website. In store, they're gone. The minute they come out, they're all gone. Like, they go quick. I bought them. When was that? September, October. When did I buy that? I can't even remember when I bought the new blanket. Yeah, it goes so quick. Are they all plush? That's a good deal, but I think she'll eat them all like fairly quick. I don't know, ask Rob. It's just gonna end up everywhere. Gosh. The detergent. Smells good. Ooh. I do like the unstoppables. Yeah, no, they're gone. Yeah, they. I bought them whenever I bought them. You buy them when you see them, because they're, they'll go poopery. Yeah, she does destroy them fast. That's just a funny name, poopery. Garbage bags. To take out the trash. Mm, chicken breasts, chunks, canned goods, 
you know, it's where you get, it's really good to do, like, for keto, they like you to eat, like, sardines, but sardines might not be for everybody, but tuna fish, all of that, salmon, they have good, all that stuff is good, and they have it here. Pickles. Pickles are delicious. You have two cats. Oh. Oh, here's the wisps. Here's the here's the cookies. Um, the cookies, the Parmesan crisps. They're way cheaper than Publix because they're nine eighty nine, but it's a nine and a half ounce bag. You'll pay for a tiny, like a little snack pack of it at Publix for five dollars. Yeah, it's so good. Grilled vegetables. Beets. Not a big beet person. I don't like beets. Olives are good. You know, we have pimento stuffed olives at um, at homecoming. They're really, really good. But food, we already... Oh, the, the bacon bites. Those are real bacon bites. They're excellent to put in omelets. If you just want to do, like, omelet, egg, mushrooms, the bacon crumbles, because they're real bacon. Yeah, I do need more bacon. That's one thing I do need to go get more of, and I do get them here. Roasted kale, I didn't like that. Those are, I tried those. They're not good. Not my favorite. I don't like plain nori. I like the flavored nori. Seaweed's a good snack, too. I'm just not into the plain gourmet mixed mushrooms. Hmm. Yeah, one gram. See, mushrooms are great, and mushrooms are great for food, soup, omelets. And this is $12.99 for dried mushrooms. Ooh, honey ginger tea. That just looks good. 13. Yeah, 12 of it's sugar. It's for a tea, jam, and salad dressing. Okay. It looks good, though. Honey citron and ginger tea. It looks like jam. Coconut date rolls. These all sugary. <laughs> craisins. I know craisins are not keto either. <sighs> so hard. Barilla. I'm still trying to find that soybean. I think it's edamame pasta. Because I think the chickpea still had too much. Let's see. I saw Thomas DeLauer pick up some pasta I think it was edamame pasta and it wasn't bad but he said like maybe once every couple weeks 34 grams I can't even touch that I can't even look at it I don't know where he found that I think he found it at the regular grocery store it's edamame pasta pasta I think soybean pasta has anybody had it Cauliflower pizza kit. Let's check this out, guys. It's 10.49. Two pizza crusts, two sauce packets. How many carbs, baby? And there it is, 24 grams. It's lower than regular pizza. Oh, is it Aldi? Okay, Jennifer, perfect. And how low is the carbs? Is it pretty low? Thank you, Jennifer. I, I have an Aldi right down the street. I'll go in there and go pick it up. I think that's what it was. Thomas DeLauer must have been doing an Aldi video. Thank you. Because he does the shop at Costco, shop at wherever. Like, he tells you how to shop keto at every place that you can. All right, they don't have it here. Aldi, okay, I'll go pick some up. I want to try it because he said it's not an everyday thing. Maybe if you're really, really wanting pasta and you you can't because the pasta zero doesn't taste like pasta. Like, it's more slimy. It tastes more like Asian noodles. Like, if you want to make the pho, the pho, 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 um, use the pasta zero noodles instead. So... Oh, she likes edamame, but I don't think she, she doesn't cook. 
edamame pasta is, yeah, it's a keto thing. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. But Aldi for sure, I'll go check for sure. It was Thomas DeLauer. I watched Thomas DeLauer's channel. It's really good. So if you, your local grocery store, he's done Costco, he's done like everywhere. But I think it was his Aldi video. Like he was telling you like what was a good deal and what was like, you know, you can pretty much try to eat it anywhere else, different budgets. So $149 for a telescope. Yeah, edamame is different. All my Asian people in the house. You know, edamame itself is just what you eat at a Chinese restaurant, like a, a Chinese, a Japanese restaurant. That's the actual, it's a pea pod. I can't eat straight edamame because it's a legume. It has too many carbs. Edamame pasta was a specifically, I think it was at Aldi, it was like a low carb pasta. Yeah. <laughs> that he was finding specifically for that but yeah no it's different than actual like bean edamame is just soybeans and eating too much soy is not good for you because it has it contains phytoestrogens especially if you're trying to battle like cancer <laughs> you don't want to have any any extra estrogen or anything like that in your body like i know too much soy is a bad thing because he even mentions that like thomas delara mentions that that too much estrogen like soy because soy contains phytoestrogens it's not good if you're trying to keep that kind of bad stuff away from you but so definitely that's in there it's a legume beans have a lot of carbs it's a bean edamame is a soybean so pinto beans any kind of beans full of carbs yeah it's just one of the lowest alternative like chickpeas any legumes like kidney beans pinto beans black beans any beans beans are full of carbs that's protein too but we can't yeah we usually can't eat it either it's my favorite come on forky ducky that's a good set 30 bucks that's a good deal captain marvel this one's 24 bucks. How come the Marvel one's cheaper than Toy Story? Mm, don't ask me why. Is that Ronin? Is that supposed to be Ronin? It is! Ronin, Captain America, Iron Spider, and Ant-Man. That's really cool. Ooh! That's really cool. Oh, they're selling drones. That's awesome, like a little drone. That's so cool. 50 bucks for a little baby drone. I don't know how good it is, but hey. Hey, 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 David, go make dinner. Oh yes, have fun. All right, more toys, slime, bath bombs. Ah, uh, here you go, more Lisa Frank stuff. Paw Patrol, wow, that's huge. Look at this thing, Paw Patrol, $20, you guys, that's a deal. It's a huge, huge thing, 20 bucks. Somebody in your life likes Paw Patrol. Peppa Pig. <laughs> A play mat. That's what it got for Riley, like a play carpet. That car carpet in my living room I knew was gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Ooh, card games. You never know. We never even got to play Uno when we camped out. We were pretty entertained, mad gab. I don't even know some of these card games. What? $20 for that. Tennis balls, basketballs. Uh, sticker activity set. Ooh. Avengers. Foosball. Oh, they have these things. You can't ride these at the mall, I thought. Are they motorized? Oh no, it's just a little pony. There they are. Giant Disney baby. Minnie or Mickey, but it only looks... Oh no, Minnie's, Mickey's right here. Let me see if Mickey looks right. There's a bird. Okay, I don't know if that was supposed to be there. 
I think he looks right. Twenty dollars. Oh, I talked about it already, Victoria. It depends on what type of things you do on your channel. I've, I've already addressed it, so. I'm just gonna do what I normally do. My channel's never been directed to kids. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't, I talk to you guys, grandparents, aunts, because I think about it this way. I do mostly like to help you, help you with your travel or your, your um, theme park things. Who pays for those vacations? The adults do, kids don't have jobs. So I don't do toy reviews, I don't do any of that kind of stuff. Like that is mainly for, I explain what COPPA is, watch the YouTube COPPA video if you're still confused. Um, there, it's mainly happened, I, I talked about this already, but I will talk it, about it one more time for all the peanut gallery in the house that missed the first time I talked about it. It was in relation to uh, Ryan's Toys Reviews. He's like the biggest YouTube channel in all of YouTube. It's because of that, like, they're basically reviewing toys, but they weren't disclosing that those toys were gifted to them. Those toys are basically an ad. It's a sponsored video, and they're not telling that. And this whole lawsuit, it's two different things. There's a lawsuit as well as, like, YouTube had to settle because of those types of things. Videos like review channels that are specifically um, toy collectors, card collectors. I talked about this. I mean, remind me if this is sounding familiar to you guys, because I know I did talk about it already. Um, like if you're doing toy reviews and then they'll say I'm reviewing that Mickey Mouse doll without Because if you tag like Mickey Mouse toys dolls that it it attracts children children watch it But children under the age of 13 do not have the mental capacity to differentiate between an ad Or basically like oh they just think it's another kid playing with a toy and they were kind of deceptive You have to be very very clear about your intent so there's also federal trade commission rules like if let's say i was given that mickey mouse i have to say hey i'm here to talk about this giant mickey mouse doll but i want you to know that costco gave it to me for review you have to disclose those things so this is why we can't have nice things that's why i always say it's just a lot of people weren't following the rules but my channel is not related to children i don't have i try not to have kids in my video it's never been a focus of mine i focus on my adult Ohana, which are people planning vacations, coming for vacation. You know, those childless millennials. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. Like, we're getting tips and tricks and hanging out and showing you the magic, but they've never been my focus. Of course, you have a, you also have to have the, what is, what is, what does Robert Lee's call it? A reasonable expectation of privacy. Let's say I'm in Magic Kingdom with 30,000 of my closest friends. Yeah, there's going to be, you know, kids in the video because you're not like trying to film them in a, you know it's it's called a reasonable expectation of privacy because you're in a public place so i really try even in line i try to look up the window and show you guys oh look at this decoration and the jungle cruise i'm very very cognizant of that i specifically sit at certain spots because of that reason i don't try to shove my camera in anybody's face i am very very polite i try not to make you know the experience bad for anybody else riding the ride with me i sit in the back or there's certain ones I sit in front, I sit to the side. I'm always in an end. There's a reason why I ask for those seats because my camera's not in anybody's way and I'm not ruining, I never tell you that, but that's the reason why I ask for a certain spot. So I'm not ruining the experience for anybody else. I have a microphone, so I don't have to talk so loud. Like some vloggers or streamers talk really loud because I don't have a mic, you know, but you know, if you got a mic, you, know, you can whisper and everybody can hear you. Um, you know, those are things that you have to be cognizant about and you have to be common courtesy. You know, it depends on what your channel is. My channel has never been focused on children, so I'm not worried about it. I try to be polite. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no, not your fault. But, I mean, some of you guys may not have listened to it. But they'll look up, it was about, like, if you Google it on YouTube, just, like, teach yourself about COPPA and type in Ryan's Toy Reviews. A lot of um, Inform Overload is a really good Canadian channel I watch all the time. They kind of report on YouTuber news and pop, pop culture news. They're a really good one. Very informative. Like, they do top 10 videos and stuff. I love their channels. Um, Inform Overload, um, Most Amazing, Top 10s. They're all, like, actually, they're Canadian channels. They're really, really good. Um, but I like those Top 10 channels. But they did talk about all of the, the COPPA, the rule changes. Yes, each and every video we have to declare whether or not it's for kids or not. I always say like, hey, my information, 
no 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 10 year old has a job <laughs> i'm here to talk to you guys how you guys can save money as you know mostly adults some of you guys are there's not too many most of my demographic are adults i don't really have a lot of i have some kids who watch the videos but that's up to your parents megan's kids um i'm popular with the fourth and seventh graders because i've ohana that will play the stream on the classroom but that's absolutely fine that is an adult's choice so that's kind of if you kind of know what the rules are and why it came to be then it's clear to you but you know i'm going to keep doing what i'm doing that i need to do i'll be cognizant be polite sit in the right spot try not to ruin the experience for other guests I mean, you know, I've talked to you guys about this a million times just because, you know, what, what's your opinion on this happening to this person? You know, I'm trying not to get involved in their drama. You know, I'm going to do me. They can do, they can do them. And just like a school, you're not going to be friends with everybody, right? Because people do things differently. I have a very specific schedule. There's things I want to show you guys. There's things that we do together. And other people may not share the same vision I do. They don't see it that way. They want to, you know they just don't have common courtesy and they're not polite and they're not you know and, and you guys don't really know i mean just like legit talking like you don't know anybody in real life unless you've met them in real life like so it's there's a lot of behind the scenes that people then get to see you know and we have friends and when we, when we get off camera that's when we actually do our deep talks you know sitting in the rocking chairs till 2 30 or sitting in the parking lot till 3 a.m we talk in real life so all my mods are my friends in real life we see each other in real life but you know like you don't know everybody and yeah it's i wish it was a wonderful world that everybody got along with everybody but unfortunately not that's not going to happen all the time i just think if everybody's just polite and nice and cordial to each other then we're fine but not everybody's going to be best friends like if you see this person hanging out with somebody else on their stream maybe that's who they choose to like but you know i'm an adult and i choose who my friends are <laughs> like just like you you should choose who your friends are you should choose your friends wisely I'm just saying but yeah that's kind of my two cents on all of that and so that's why there's some people you know I mean I know who my friends are you know so I'm, sometimes there's just people who don't share the same vision as us I really try to keep it g-rated Disney friendly I shouldn't even say family friendly but it should just be Disney appropriate that's what I call my channel I want to keep it Disney appropriate and some people who don't so much so you know it's true though but it's it's so true it's so true but it's true Reese I mean and that's why I know a lot of you guys are like oh why don't you hang out with so and so I have specific people I hang out with because they're my friends or I've made plans with them so and, and I, I wouldn't I mean maybe some people don't think that it's rude but you just show up like uninvited like that's not a thing I would never I would never show up someplace and not you know like shanghai somebody's stream or vlog never i would never do that like that's rude that's like showing up to a party uninvited to me that's i would never do that would you do that some people like they don't think that that's rude i would never do that like if i wasn't invited or if you see somebody in passing hey how are you how you doing having a nice time okay see you later everybody do what you do i mean and just some people don't have the same common courtesy that's all i'm saying about that but you know what i mean and that's why say hi but i would never no but yeah that's kind of reason why there's certain people like I, I would never i would never do that would you do that would you just show up uninvited somewhere i wouldn't i mean and if people are trying to be like subtle and be polite and say hey we gotta go we're like you're trying to be nice you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys watch me enough that you know it's just some people just show up uninvited I, I would never like my mama didn't raise me like that you just didn't you just don't show up uninvited and go crash somebody's stream it's different if you're hey you're seeing each other how you doing or your actual friends in real life give each other hugs whatnot yeah of course but i would never you know it's just some people don't know boundary boundaries that's the word i was looking for boundaries they some people don't have boundaries <laughs> Ooh. Might need a new rug for the dog. Ooh, it's so fluffy. You get what I mean. Okay, exactly, Victoria. Like, you wouldn't just show up to someplace uninvited. 
you know, or assume just it just happens a lot lately. But you know, you just gotta keep on going and be polite, say hey, how you doing, and go. <laughs> okay, where are those crab legs that Mr. Scott's talking about? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, hang on. Oh no. a message. No, no worries. Drive safely. I got Uncle Scott on it. And with recent events, right? I'm surprised people still do what they do here. Naughty people. I'm all about... 229 for how much? Mmm. He was talking about these dang crab legs earlier. So good. Oh, it's a cooler. It's a frozen cooler. It's very cold. Mm. This is what he was talking about. Scott was talking about this Pacific seafood. Wow, look at these king crab legs. It's expensive though. Two hundred and twenty nine ninety. How much is it per pound? Twenty two ninety nine a pound. That's nice. Yeah. So good. Yeah, it's a it's a freezer. Frozen fresh and it's got a beep beeper on it, so it'll beep if it's um gets below temperature. Ooh, lobster. Yeah, it's just the regular black beer right back stream. I know it's so boring, but what can you do? I, it only, like all the ones I downloaded and I installed, it only seems to work if I live stream from, like when do I ever live stream from the house? Rarely, only when I'm cooking crawfish. Oh, langostino. 26 bucks for that but the lobster tails are 124.99 those are nice um 25 dollars a pound more expensive than the crab legs calamari yeah they're they're frozen solid mmm scallops i'll take the whole bag of shrimp right there 40 bucks that's not a bad price so good mm shrimp why do you make me break out yet you're so delicious lamb Ooh, samples and it is Ooh, 912 crab legs yes why are they so expensive scott you can take this one explain to reese why they're expensive oh mozzarella oh it's like a caprese salad here very cute delicious this is keto hmm Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. It's very good. They're already marinated. Yes, they come marinated. Ten ninety nine per container. Is it over here? Yes, ma'am. Less than one gram of carb, you are speaking my language. This is delicious. I didn't know they came marinated. Yeah. Oh right there? here. Yes, ma'am. Marinated in oil and herbs. Alright. Sold. I love a good caprese with some good balsamic. I know balsamic is a little sugar. Because they expensive. They have to overfish. Oh, Scott. You blame it on Las Vegas. All the buffets. I could, Natalie. I could. Mm, me too, calamari. But they're, look, less than one gram of carbohydrates and no sugars. I love little baby mozzarella. It's swimming in olive oil. I don't think we can get more keto than that. I'll go buy some grape tomatoes and I'm gonna and basil. We need fresh basil. Then we'll have a full-on um, caprese salad. I love caprese salad. 
cheese. This is your keto section. Yes, cheese is delicious. It's expensive because it's hard to... Well, have you ever watched Deadliest Catch, Reese? Like, it's a uh, um, Alaskan fisherman. They, like, they risk their lives to catch those Alaskan king crab. Oh, I want some, but man, that's $200 for crab legs. Salmon. Yummy wild sockeye salmon, too, which is everybody's going into. I know the wild ones are better than the, the farm-raised ones. Less mercury, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, chicken. Ground bison, ground turkey, organic ground beef. But is it pasture-raised, people? Raised without antibiotics or growth hormones, yes, but it's not pasture-raised. Oh, we got barbecue. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a whole little pit smoke barbecue slider. Oh, that's new. Where did Rob go? I'll go pick up some scramps. Where my shrimp at? Oh, cheese. Yeah. Yes. How you doing? Have Good. You How are you? Before? No, I have not. This one's imported from Ireland. It's five eighty nine a pound. But this melts real well in veggies, it's like zucchini, broccoli, mm -hmm. or it's good on salad. What I like to do is shred it on my steaks and salmon. When Ooh. I'm halfway done cooking, it makes a great flavor. Really good. And if you like it later on, it's on the top shelf past the second blue light down there. She got me on the mozzarella. I love cheese, so uh, I'm like, I need to find my buggy. Yeah. But that is delicious. This is really good. And if you're making holiday snacks, like, you know, or bird craze, just go. That'd through. be great. Yeah, because we use Kerrygold butter. I oh, mean, their butter is so That's good. what we use. Yes. We use it by the trough in uh -huh. my house. Their butter is the best. The best. The only butter I use is Kerrygold. Thank you so much. All right, we need shrimp. Mmm. All right, I need my buggy, man. find Rob hang on can you or is Rob hang on where are you where are you oh no Heidi sorry to hear that the muscles uh, Oh, victorious job. We like you. Yeah, we lost Rob. He might have like, oh, I'm outside. I already paid. I just want to make sure he tried the cheese. Cookware. What the heck? Okay, hang on. Let's go find him. Oh, the spinach salad is my favorite too. Their spinach salad here is the best with their poppy seed dressing. Oh my gosh, you guys, the best. I've been eating that since I was a kid too. Chicken pot pie. Look at the size of that thing. I thought it was an apple pie. So chicken pot pie. Okay, let's walk away from the carbohydrates. Mmm, take and bake pizza. Okay, stop, stop. So just, let's go find the, Rob's in the cooker. We right, we went right by him. Because now I've got food. I need to put it in the buggy. Ooh, the rotisserie chicken too. They have a three pound rotisserie chicken for $5. It's very delicious. Cookware. Oh, sorry. I've lost him again. Oh! Gosh. I haven't done these aisles yet. He's up here. Mattress, tables, chairs. Sometimes Rob hides into the chairs and plays video games. Like, he'll sit. Okay, I got cookware. I got cookware. Where are you at? Oh, I knew you were sitting there. I told you. I was just telling them you sit in a chair and play video games. Look what he's doing. I need to get little grape tomatoes and basil. Do they sell basil here? Leaves? Oh, you already got the shrimp. <laughs> oh, and you got the toy. You got two toys for Riley? Or Sashi? See, I don't even have to like... 
I want to get the little grape tomatoes. Did, Did you try the Dubliner cheese up there? Yeah, oh my good. gosh. Okay. No, I didn't see those. See, Rob got the toys, two of them. I got, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let's ride, let's ride up there. What are they, little, little bitty bitty umbrellas? 10 bucks, 47 inch canopy. Oh, fancy. Ooh, look at that nice chair. But why isn't it red like in the picture? Oh, oh, okay. Is it soft? I want the red one. It goes up and down, right? But see, I wish it didn't have a... Would it fit on my vanity? No. Is that what you're saying? I've got the ugly face. I know I ain't gonna fit in your vanity. Natalie says, hi, Rob. So... Yeah, I, I need to know if they have basil leaves. What's that down there? What'd you get? I haven't decided yet, but I put it there just in case. Okay. Trash can. I thought we tried buying one of those ones and it didn't work. Oh, that bit. Well, Riley's not a rooter, thank God. That's cute. No, but she's pooping, so you can stop. I'm over this dog. I am so done with her. I think I, it's hilarious that you're the only one that keeps stepping in the poop. Yeah, because she's pissed at her mother. I leave her so much. Yeah, she poops. Not when Rob's there. So I step and, in it. And leaves it where you step in it. I know. I know. She's so weird. She heard you yelling. I came downstairs to get her this morning. And she was on the couch like, <laughs> I was like, come here. Yeah, I'm the only one that steps in her poop. She does it on purpose. I told you she does something to me every time I try to leave. Oh, these LED wax candles. When you build me my shelf for all my ghost boxes, those are cool. Like, just like they have it at Haunted Mansion. Okay, we'll return the shrimp. And I need to go back over there. I just don't want to carry all the frozen food, you know, the cold food. Um... I want to see if they have um, the... I wander up and down every aisle. Oh, uh -uh, well, I, we haven't made it down every... We did all the toy aisle because that's important. We need to do toys. Um, tumbler set. Oh, is that for your wine? They have thermo flask because, you know, for all the visco girls in the house. What? For your tumbles. For your tumbles? Oh, okay. Oh, oh here's your ninja whatever blender. Ninja yes. Uh, 149 that's a good price because normally they're 229 if I'm not mistaken because it crisps that's why I wanted it more than an instant pot just because I said well you can make your own rotisserie chicken but that thing is ginormous we would have to I was looking at that basket over there for $20 is that no mom you there you better oh of course I love her still I just tell her I'm gonna leave her on the pound I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I would never She's like, as if you would. No, that's, no, she just wants a regular curry. No, that is a regular. No, it's a, it's a Oh, they, they have more curries, though. It might be on the other side. Or, did we pass it right there? Look, we weren't looking. Mom, you better not be watching. If you are, turn it off. Here, honey, a hundred bucks right here. K-cups. Done. That kind of looks like the one she already has, too. So... What happened was, mom has a K Keurig view, W E, view, the view, 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 whatever. Like it was, it's not K cups, they're like those U shaped pods. And you can't even buy them pods anymore. She thought that those were going to be the big popular one, bigger cups of coffee. But yeah, this is 15 K cup pods. Or we can go Walmart has them, Target has them in colors too. Or does she just want it in gray? Because like, well, you know, like I want it in red. All my small appliances are in red, but it looks just like the one she has. It does four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. You could do the strong brew, which is nice. So she wanted a new Keurig. So hopefully, mom's not watching. Shh. <laughs> With just regular K cups, because you could buy K cups here for sheep.
Oh, then, then we can, we can, you know, they have. No, I mean, the trip is expensive. I, the, I, have, I was debating on the, the can's 50 bucks. I mean, we don't have to get that kind. I mean, she doesn't want one that big. They're smaller ones like the one we have. I mean, that's super small, but, like, we can go smaller if you don't, she doesn't want one that it's big. That big then she gets what mom wants. That's right. Mom gets what mom wants. What are those? Are they, like, just K-cups? Oh, they're Nespresso ones. That's another. Where are the Right here. She need decaf dough. Yeah. It is a deal. Okay, decaf. So mom gets what she wants, what Rob says. Decaf. I need decaf. I drink the Pacific Bold. Breakfast bland. They don't have decaf K cups. No, mom added the view. View? View? Something like that. K cup view. Sorry, just refresh. I hit a dead spot over there, guys. Get 99 bucks for a big one. I, mine was cheaper than that. Oh no, mine was like 80 bucks, the red one. But it's little, I have a little tiny one. It's not fancy, but it works. What about all the people who drink decaf? Not me, but- There's no decafs. There's no decafs? $5 off, yeah, but it's not. Oh, it has the dark magic. That was good stuff too. Mm -mm. The Keurig coffee ones. Yeah, there is a good place to buy cake cups. So we'll just have to buy her a whole bunch of them. Okay, let's return the shrimps. Because we got two things of shrimps. Oh. Yeah, this is weird. This is different. I mean, oh. Yeah. What is it? Oh, because it comes in a pot. Oh, it comes with a carafe. Plus, that's $200. That's expensive. <laughs> that's crazy. That's $200. Is that what she wanted? Oh, she would still get it. Oh, here's the Cyclone V10. That's what we need for this jog. There she is, a wackadoo. I heard that they have the Dyson. That's a stick back. I need a stick back for the stairs. Cause she makes a mess everywhere. What? They got frozen toothbrushes. Uh, BB-8. Ooh. Frozen two toothbrushes. Hey, Tiffany. Yeah, I really want a Dyson, but the animals are expensive. I know there's like a V8, a V10, a V11. I mean, I need it for the house. It's not something I want for myself, but I need it because of the dog. She's just a little stinker. No, she, she gets mad. I think she does it out of spite because she does this. I end up stepping in her poop nugget. Like she leaves it in the way. I think she knows I'm leaving. I think that dog is just spiteful. Cause she knows I'm, she always does something cause she knows I'm trying to leave. She's too smart. Let's go return the shrimp, sweetie. No? <laughs> Yeah. Here, I'll grab one of these and return it. I'm gonna walk that way. I need to get grape tomatoes and I need basil too. Well, come this way so I don't have to hold the cold food. Put it in the buggy because I'm bound to drop things. Right, right. Yeah, I'll take a look for the blanket for you, Sandy, but I don't know if it's still here. I will check, but they've been out. They've got some plush throw. It's a life comfort. Oh, it's right here. They got blue ones. There's the brand. They got more in. They got blue. Blue and gray. That's what it is. That's the brand right here. These are the best blankets. You got it, girl. $14.99. So they got some more in. They weren't here last time. It's this brand. Ultimate Sherpa Throw Life Comfort is the brand. They've got blue and they've got gray. But they have them again. $14.99. This will be the best blankets you'll ever use in your life. I sleep on two, one on top, one on bottom. I just cocoon myself <laughs> in luxuriousness. These are like the best presents. The one I gave Tanya last year, the, the kids were fighting over it, even the dog. So, yeah, these are the best blankets. Like, you need to buy, these are good gifts. You buy one for every member of your family. Actually, need to get one for I don't know what color. I mean, gray is a good color. The bullies. I get. So 
but I like to give my thoughts too. I'm gonna turn you guys onto all of these blankets. Right now, too. I definitely need one. Cause I've gotta get, I gotta give one for a gift. Yep, it looks like so. I'm telling you, you'll never go back. It's so good. I was looking for it for Sandy, so they, I don't know if they have it in Davy. Well, I saw the blanket, and I was like, oh my gosh, squirrel. But they, when they come, they wear a, a end cap like this, and then they sell out. It wasn't here last time we were here, so they must have got a new shipment back in. It's been about, a, I don't know, two, three weeks since we've been here. Life Comfort Sherpa Blanket. You need it in your life. It's so good and squishy. I have like, I don't know, five of them. <laughs> Downstairs, upstairs, and Riley only likes to sleep on the fuzzy side of it. Like she's a princess. <sighs> All right, she, he ended up getting the same thing because Rob and I are thinking like, I need little baby, ooh, the ham too. The, the ham, we just get one of these like, they're the Costco honey baked ham versions. It's already pre-sliced. Put it in a giant Tupperware. Boom, you're done. Delicious. Make ham and cheese sandwiches super easily. Oh, so good. All right. What else do they have? Where are the grape tomatoes? Are they in here? Oh, they're going to go outside the refrigerator. It's cold. No. Oh, wow, it's a lot of tomatoes. But I just need a little thing of... There's a lot. Oh, here's some. Some heirlooms. Heirlooms would be good. Artichoke hearts. Got some heirlooms. Yes, they're great. They are great. Hey, Holly, how you doing, girl? They're very sweet. Sangria tomatoes. Wow, they're just trying to make them sound even more fancy. These are heirloom. Heirloom tomatoes means they're tomatoes of every color. Orange, green, red. That's what an heirloom tomato is. Um, these are sweet cherry tomatoes. $5.99, I'll get these. These were really good with the mozzarella. Um, they're a good snack, I like them. Those are, I love caprese salads, so those are great. Um, little tiny ones, I had them on a pick. I need to find basil, but I don't think they sell basil leaves here. Just straight basil. So a little slice up some fresh basil leaves. The mozzarella tomatoes, the mozzarella, the tomato, um, olive oil, and some balsamic. There's your caprese salad right there. Let's see, they have samples over here. Yeah, it's during the week, so it's Wednesdays. We're not really having a lot of samples. Gluten free bread. Ooh, something stinks back here. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. It smells bad. Ooh, I don't know what's going on back there. Stinky. Ooh, samples. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Shrimp, yay. Crispy wings, nuggets, nuggets for days. I can't eat nuggets because they're breaded. But unless I make my own keto nuggets, of course. Ooh, orange chicken, stop. Oh, oh. missed it there, all gone. Hey, uh. hey, don't it. Oh, there's the matcha. Here's a matcha green tea powder, unsweetened each to end. This is the brand you want. It is $28.99, but this will last you like five years. 
make your matcha smoothies out of it. I still have powdered matcha at home, so when I run out, I have it in a can. I got one of those fancy ones in a can. So when that one finishes, I'll get a bag like that. I like it because it, it was in a can, but I guess I could fill it up and uh, put it in the can if I buy that bag. Heavy cream, there you go for all your, uh, in keto we do heavy cream. We don't do regular, the higher the fat, the lower the carbs, so it's zero carbs. Cheese, mm, delicious. But I do need to pick up some basil leaves, we'll probably have to go to Publix and go pick up some from there. Because I don't think they sell basil leaves here, but I could be wrong. See. Maybe it's in the refrigerated section right here, like the little thing of herbs. Basil, we need basil. Oops, sorry. Apples. Macarons. Basil. Mm. Mm. Lobster bisque. But I think we looked at this last time. They had a. I did, I did. I went to go grab the tomatoes now. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, but it was two packs. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was a double pack. Let me go back over there. I grabbed this, so I got this, because it... I think it was a two pack of tomatoes. It was it was a yellow back and then the red on top, right? Uh, the package, yeah. It's it's a square. Right, but it was two. No, it was only one. Oh, okay. Right, right. Okay, well, let me go check. Thank you. Because your tomatoes are good. I thought it was a two pack that I saw. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, you're right. Oh, those are cheaper. Fine by me. These are only $4.99. Okay. This cheaper. Matcha is delicious. The matcha tea girl, if you want a lot of caffeine that is more sustained, because the matcha at Starbucks has sugar in it. So, you, I mean, I, use, I eat it as a treat, but I know I can't really eat it. Um, mm, oh, God. I'll just get this. It's a dollar cheaper. Oh God. Who says eating healthy can't be delicious? I love a caprese salad, but I'm gonna put some balsamic in it. A couple of drops of balsamic, mm. All right, I got it, I found it. It looked like a two pack to me from a distance, but hey, they were cheaper, thanks. I like a good deal. Them again. All right, we got tomatoes. Do you need help with something? No, my my honey. Have you found him? <laughs> no, you just can't yeah. record in the store. Okay, I'll stop. Thanks. All right, that's a first. Where'd he go? I need to find them so I can go pay for this and leave. That's a first. Yeah. Is he friends with a guy from, what was that place called? Oh, Trader Joe's. All right, I hope Rob's in line so we can go pay and leave. Yeah, but everybody does them. Did he go pay yet? Because we need to just pay and go. I don't know.
not where Rob went. Uh, uh, Rob, we're in line. We've got to, it's time to go. I know, it's true, but we're going to go. I'm going to pay for my tomatoes. I don't know where he is because I don't have time to be dealing with their shenaniganery. Let's go find him. Still playing his game. I know it. Time to go. I'm at the front waiting for you. At Trader Joe's, you mean? I'm in front by the register. Where are you at? Why is it not sending? Oh, it did. Got it. Got it. It's time to go. I just don't know where Rob is, but he probably paid already. All right. Oh, there you are. Oh, I said I found a man who's probably friends with a guy at a, a Trader Joe's. He's like, oh, you can't film here. Can I help you with something? I said, well, I'm trying to find Rob. <laughs> We've done a million Costco streams. Like time to go. I, I think he was. He always had one. I know, like everybody does grocery streams. If it's not on the sign outside. <laughs> oh, that's a good answer. Because then I can never usually find it. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to go outside. For the oh, did he? seafood sign in. Trader Joe's best friend guy. I'll go with Sap to go to Publix or um, Aldi actually. They don't, they don't have fresh stuff there, right? They don't have basil there. Here, let me go find you a box. Which is better, Costco or Sam's Club? Costco, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Ooh, is this too big? That's kind of a good box though. Here. Here. Tomatoes. Can't open it till Christmas. Right. That's true, Dwayne. Dwayne says, tell them you know me. They'll throw you out quicker. <laughs> I said, I've always filmed here. Like, I have like a million Costco videos. Oh, uh, Aldi does have basil and parsley at the produce section. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go pick up the uh, edamame pasta. But I want to eat those. You need some basil. 
It looks good though. Since you are finished scanning, please touch those scanning items. Sweet. Grape tomatoes are good. You know where it is? Okay. Oh. All right, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was 11, but it could have been 14. It's right over here. I think it's You know what? Yeah, there was no. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Because mine came up $14.99. So I went over to Right. Florida like for, for yeah. us here because it's not I, I mm -hmm. the, 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 one. the cool one. Oh. Does it like wick all the sweat from you? Like that that or the they actually cool you off? Like Oh this one's heat retention. That one probably like gets rid of all the heat like the cool one. Yeah it's kind of it really works on the and I don't know because of this shirt. I need some right, it's talk. very thin. That's why I like it. It's perfect for Florida because I use it for my for work too. Like we're allowed to wear like long sleeve, like with a short sleeve shirt, but it has to be like nice, like this one, like this thing. Did you find it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I want those. I want those. Why? Oh, oh, they don't have. They're thin. Yeah, it's about the same. I think someone probably opened this up. There you go. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Yeah, Yeah, he got the 30 degree. These are the Under Armour. He got boy ones. I have the girl ones. But I love them. So it's eleven ninety nine. Yeah, they work good. Don't look at mom's Christmas present. It's cute. I don't think I have a water filter handle on mine. I don't have a water filter. And it has, comes with a reusable one, too. Now we just got to find her decaf pods, though, because she doesn't have regular K-Cup pods. But you know who has, like, good prices on K-Cups? Um, TJ Maxx. Oh, we should just go by the... Is there on... Uh, by the TJ Maxx's, there's a Publix over there, too, right? Yeah. So I'm going to get my basil. I need to go get basil. And then I'll just go to TJ Maxx Home Goods and go get the... Uh, the pumpkin spice, you know, the, the, the syrups and stuff, the skinny syrups. Because I do need more skinny syrups. All I have is that one I bought from Walmart. And he's not good. <laughs> well, it's caramel, sugar-free caramel. I want the pumpkin spice or I know they have peppermint mocha. They got to have, like, Christmas-flavored ones by now, guys. So, for sure. Hey, Lauren. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you how icky it is outside, guys. I don't know, but he's eating at the snack bar. The snack bar is, like cheap and delicious but yeah it's ooh, it got cold 
66 and cloudy. It's been like this all day. Look at the misery. Oh, it's cold. It's been, at least it stopped raining. It's been really ugly all day. Yeah, the pumpkin spice syrup is so good. It got cold. You had to break out your Under Armour. Oh, it's dropping like it's hot. The rain cooled it off immensely. There you go. At least got some Christmas gifts done. Sashi done, mom done. <laughs> we'll just buy her some coffee cups too. Well, I'll go get some at TJ Maxx. Home Goods has it because they have like the nice fancy designer ones there for for cheaper. But she only drinks decafs. So, yes. All right. Well, that's the Costco right there. All right, honey. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right, guys. Well, that was our stream for the day. We're just going to do more errands. It's just so yucky out. But I hope you had fun shopping with us. We've been here for hours. You're right. <laughs> you know. And we're going to see you tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Thursday. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. But I will see you tomorrow for sure. I'm so glad you had a good time shopping with us. We made it pretty good. Like a bandit. So we're going to say tomorrow. I'm going to go work on more things today at home. I'm going to try to upload some of Rob's videos on the Patreon today. So keep an eye for that. We're doing a whole um, DIY series for you guys. Because you know, you have so many wands, you just don't know where to put them. So now it's your turn to make some magic, magic, guys. Like, Comment, subscribe. like, subscribe. And See you guys. special thank you to all of, all our, of our Legacy Ohana. Legacy Ohana. So we have Scott. Todd and Dwayne. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Good Bye. night. Love you too. Bye.